Saad from India. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Alaikum assalam, rahmatullah. Uh, so, Sheikh, I had a question that the masjid I went to here, there was one man who, after the Imam said, Sami Allah, Liman Hamida, he, in a loud voice, in every salah, says, Rabbana wa lakal hamd. And he says it in a longer version of it, but loudly, while all the people say it silent. So, I just wanted to know whether this is from the Sunnah or not. Well, Jazakallah, Peter. Well, Jazak, if this man is behind the Imam and the microphones are not working, and he's raising his voice so that the people in the sixth or seventh row would be able to follow the Imam. This is called tabligh. And this is permissible in large congregations. Nowadays, with the microphones available, when the Imam says, Sami Allahu min hamidah, the Mu'addin says, Rabbana wa lakal hamd. Excuse me, what are you doing? He says, I'm relaying the uh, uh, takbir of the Imam. There's no need, yeah. There is a microphone and a speaker in every single corner. Everybody knows what the Imam is saying. You can hear his whispers, even. So this is not permissible. Unfortunately, a lot of the people follow the customs, the traditions. They don't follow religion. So don't associate with Islam, with the religion, except what's part of it. Now, most likely this guy is an isolated case he's just someone who l watches the salat in haram and he sees what the muaddin is doing and he likes it and he likes his voice so he raises his voice like that this is inappropriate if he's doing it purposely to make people listen to his voice and annoy people it invalidates his prayer if he's doing it without paying any attention sometimes when you're in rukur or in sujood the guy next to the guy next to you, like three, four guys down the road, would say, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, and what is this guy doing? Why is he raising his voice like this? Some people have OCD. Some people don't feel that they're doing tasbih unless they hear it this loud. Would it invalidate their prayer? No, their prayer is valid. But they're not following the sunnah and they should not be doing this. This person, this individual, who raises his voice like this has to be um, advised after the salat. We go to him, a hey, brother, uncle, son. Listen, what you're doing is wrong. Imagine if each and every one of us raised his voice like that. Would that be uh, appropriate? Ha did the companion ever do such a thing? Then, inshallah, he may come back to his senses.